Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. And when I, want, I want to take y'all into this one today. My father was in Leavenworth, Kansas City. It is a federal penitentiary, but I want you all to know it's mostly for runoff people from the military. Fort Leavenworth is really a military penitentiary, if you want to be honest about it. That's what Leavenworth, Kansas City is. It's a military prison. That's what it really is. Let me explain this to you. When I used to be up there visiting my father, they would bring people who had ran off from the military. They'd bring them in looking wild in army boots, fatigues, everything, handcuffs, feet shackled. They used to bring them in all kind of ways in Leavenworth, and you would see them bringing them in two and three at a time when you would be going in to visit. Sometimes they might be then caught one bringing him in. But let me take you into this story. My father was in Leavenworth, Kansas City, and I told y'all he had a fascination with bank robbers, starting with A.C. Ducey, baby. A.C. Ducey was a bank robber who stopped robbing banks and started hitting niggas for the fat man. So the fat man always had a soft spot in his heart for bank robbers. Let me take you into this one. He's in Leavenworth, Kansas City. Fort Leavenworth, Kansas City. I told y'all, he got Henry Ross Black coming to visit him once a month. And then if not that one, the next month, Milton Henry would come. So they would alternate months on coming to see Eddie Jackson at Federal Penitentiary. And they had brought this young guy in who had ran off and he was robbing banks from the military. He had went AWOL from the military and he was robbing banks and they had caught him. Now they bring him in the Fort military. They bring him in there shackled up from head to toe. And let me remind y'all of one thing. And this is why Eddie Jackson's reputation it's like no other. I'm finna give you one why Eddie Jackson's reputation is like no other. And most of you niggas don't even try this because you can't do it. They have bought my man in from robbing banks from the military. My father, by chance, just, just realized this. Henry Ross Black was the president of the United States lawyer, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon had hired Henry Ross Black to get the guys off from Watergate. So Henry Ross Black was representing the guys who had did the Watergate scandal and Eddie Jackson at the same time. Richard Nixon had hired Henry Ross Black to represent the burglars who did the Watergate thing. So at the same time, Henry Ross Black is representing Eddie Jackson. He's representing for Richard Nixon, the president of the United States. This is who Henry Ross Black is working for. And Eddie Jackson got Henry Ross Black as his lawyer, the same lawyer Richard Nixon would go pick to get the Watergate boys off. And let me go down into the story. This young guy came in out the military robbing banks and went AWOL. Everybody in there seen him, everybody know him. When you're on the compound, everybody know everybody. And this young guy was in there saying they had framed him, they had set him up. And now understand that. A military lawyer is different from a civilian lawyer. Those are two different lawyers. And here is what made Eddie Jackson so goddamn famous. That brother who had ran off from the military, he come in there and it's a whole crew of them in there. He got cool with my father like Demetrius Holloway. So my father took a liking to him. And my father looked at him and the young guy was saying, you know, he didn't have no attorney. It was military, all this. And my father looked at the young guy. He said, let me see your case. He said, let me see your case. The young guy said, well, you ain't going to be able to do nothing, Mr. Jackson, because it's a military case. He said, young brother. Let me see your case. Young brother went and got his case, bought his case, his old case to the fat man. The fat man told him, I got a friend 
I'm going to have look at this case for you. His name is Henry Ross Black, the greatest military lawyer known to man. This is who I'm going to have look at your case because I didn't took a liking to you. So I'm going to show you how far my arms and my hands really stretch right into the United States government. He sent Henry Ross Black that young brother's file and told Henry Ross Black, please take this file up for me and see what you could do from this young brother who is here in Fort Leavenworth with me and came in on the ride, on the run, robbing banks and run and then went AWOL. Make a long story short, and this is how Eddie Jackson became a legend in Fort Leavenworth. You wouldn't want to touch him after this. He got that young guy off. He had Henry Ross Black beat that young guy's case. Henry Ross Black pleaded that young guy's case in the greatest military officer. Henry Ross Black got that young brother off for Eddie Jackson, and it made Eddie Jackson's reputation skyrocket. Now all the niggas in Fort Leavenworth that's in there for military crimes and shit, they all looking at the fat man like, that nigga there got Henry Ross Black, the greatest military lawyer it is. He's representing the Watergate burglars, and he's representing Eddie Jackson. Hey, that nigga Eddie Jackson ain't nothing to play with. If you come in there from the military, Eddie Jackson had to show him, nigga, I can deal with the military. I got a lawyer, brother, that's military qualified. Understand that. Henry Ross Black is a lawyer that military qualified, baby. And if you got a military case, you would have wished Henry Ross Black would have took your case up. And Eddie Jackson made one young brother's wish come true. Because Henry Ross Black took his case up for Eddie the Fat Man Jackson in Leavenworth, Kansas City, because the fat man had took a liking to him. He was his run boy like Demetrius was. So for that boy, he got him out off on a military AWOL and for robbing a bank. Henry Ross Black got him off, baby. The greatest military officer, lawyer of all times. Henry Ross Black, you just can't get no any lawyer to represent you if you commit a crime in the military. You need a military lawyer. Eddie Jackson had a military lawyer, a civilian lawyer, any kind of lawyer you want, Eddie Jackson had, baby. If you committed a crime in the military, Eddie Jackson had Henry Ross Black to represent you, baby. And that legend just spread through Leavenworth, Kansas City. Man, that nigga Eddie Jackson got Henry Ross Black to get this young bank robber, AWOL, military brother off the run, and military niggas flocked to my dad. Every military nigga on the compound was kissing up to the fat man at the chance he might have Henry Ross Black take your case. So all of them was kissing up to the fat man. Fat man, fat man, fat man. And Stonewall Jackson was in there watching all this shit go down. And he said, I told you, fat man, you one of a kind, nigga. Stonewall Jackson, the leader of the West Side 7, baby. Stonewall Jackson told the fat man sitting there in Leavenworth, Kansas City, Eddie, Matt, Eddie Jackson, you ought to read